Today, we are examining an old empty mansion in the southern region. It was constructed in the late 1800s and was a remarkable example of that era. featuring distinctive colors and intricate designs. However, very little is known about the family who once resided there. According to some locals, they were a very wealthy family from New York who suddenly vanished and never came back. But what might have occurred to them? Did they return to New York, or did something more sinister take place? The mystery remains as we investigate the remaining parts of this deserted mansion. So join me today, and let's see what's left. So we're walking up to the front porch right now and you can see it's got this beautiful, this beautiful brick steps right here. And check it out. The front porch is just gorgeous. With this checkered floor. Still got some wicker furniture up here. With the wooden columns and stuff. Also have the hang blue on the ceiling and the door itself is magnificent. You have a purple screen door, which is open, and then a purple front door right there. And even the glass that's next to the doors has this like flower etched into it. Just a beautiful front porch of a Southern home. As you guys can tell, the place is just covered just completely covered. We're gonna try to see what's around the backside a little bit before we go inside. So many spiders. I got mosquitoes all over. Yeah, me too. They bite my hands so much. You see this blood? Oh, I see it, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's get it. Let's go to the back. Look at the overgrowth on the house itself. It's insane. So beautiful. Looks like back here, we have like a barn or a shed of some sort. And then this is the back side of the house. Another brick staircase going up with the uh, purple door on the back. Just a magnificent house. Really love this place. This is beautiful. But guys, I don't want to keep you outside too long. So let's make our way inside and let's see what's left in this abandoned southern mansion. Hope you guys are ready. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let's get right into it. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks and we just made it inside of this abandoned southern mansion here. This place is huge. I'm in the kitchen right now. There's a lot of stuff left behind and the story behind it, you guys already heard, pretty wild. This place still has a lot of stuff left in it. You're gonna wanna stay tuned because there is a secret door upstairs. And this is like one, this is probably the most like secret door we've ever found. Um, cause we've found a few secret doors before, but this one is legit. So you're gonna wanna stay till that cause it's upstairs. And then uh, the kid's bedroom has this crazy looking bed like, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned to see that and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am with Justin, 
apparel photography, we have been uh, hitting a lot of spots on this trip and I'm so excited to show you guys this one. Thank you to S. Ray. Um, I will link her stuff down in the description for helping me with this spot and we're gonna see what's left in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. So if I'm starting you guys off in the kitchen, we're gonna see how kind of weirdly built some of this is. There's this fireplace here that goes all the way upstairs too. And um, yeah, it's, it's strange, but this is just in the kitchen. So it's this nice big brick fireplace. You can walk around to the back side of it too and see, I'm not sure what they would have kept back here. Maybe they have cabinets or something, but they were hanging this, this stuff throughout the place. It's a little bit strange. There's a rug right over there. There's, I mean, just a whole bunch of random stuff in some places, but we're gonna see some really cool stuff in this house. So let's take a look around. And first off, this is what you see when you're in the kitchen. You've got a sink here. Birds are literally making their home this place. So there's bird's nest all over the place. But guys, what is this stuff hanging up? Like the, those plants and stuff. What is that stuff? But just check it out. Check out the, the built-ins here. It's all blue and everything. Very pretty. This is the old house. Still has some glasses left behind up here. You have your island, huge island, and the stove and oven are on the island as well. Looks like nobody's been here in quite a while. These drawers are like so nice. It looks like they've cleared out a lot of what was in them maybe. I'm scared to like put my finger around it because it's like a it's like a notch, but I don't want a spider to come out and bite me. But I'm excited to show you guys what's in here. So again, this is the island. Got this nice stove and oven on top here and very nice wood floors throughout the place. Some of this seemed like it was modernized at one point, but still you can tell it's a very old house. This is where the fridge would have went. More of this cabinetry here. Like this is an old place. Check out the blue colors though that they got. And not to mention the ceiling. For this kitchen, it's big. I mean, we are in a mansion right now, so as you can tell, it's gonna be big throughout the place. So on the back side of this, it looks like there's some area for like stools and stuff. And there was something here. You can see a big circle. So maybe there was a big rug here or something like a big circular one. Maybe that's what's in the corner over there. It's a big circular rug. Check this out right here. This is where you probably would have ate breakfast. Had like this little bench seating. It goes like an L and this table left here. And there's even like storage underneath of it too. They definitely made this place very interesting to say the least. Pretty fascinating just to, to see the kitchen alone. All these compartments are inside and everything. There's a room back here, like a sunroom that has seating. So we'll go check that out. But first we gotta walk around. So let's see what we got going on here. We got two doors. Looks like bathrooms. Yeah, we got cabinetry right here. There's a toilet. Pretty big bathroom. Got some Spider-Man thing down there. It's like a floaty of some sort. And the black and yellow doors here. And then on the other side, it's the same thing. There's another bathroom, I think. Or maybe this was the washroom. I'm thinking that's probably what it was actually. This is probably the washroom. Probably had your washer and dryer hook up right here. So it was all kind of connected together. And now we're gonna enter into the dining room. You guys are gonna see, there's a big table left here. There's no chairs, but there is a large table and a very large rug, a very pretty rug in this room, along with this fantastic looking wallpaper. And this room, guys, is big. Like, look at the ceilings. Those ceilings are at least 20 foot high, I wanna say. This is big, this is 
tall ceilings, maybe not 20 foot, but maybe 15 foot. Like it's huge in here. This is a big, big dining room. Check out how long the table is. You could fit probably 10 people at this table. It's quite a large one. Beautiful chandelier in the blue ceilings, the little medallion up there. I mean, this is just gorgeous. The chairs in here would have been nice to see all set up, but it looks like somebody took them or something like that. Check out the fireplace. It's this checkered floor design right here. That's all marble too. Got the fireplace. I just love all the colors in here. It's very dark because it's like kind of tucked back in the woods a little bit. But check it out. Look at how beautiful that wallpaper is. I think we had something over here. What would you call this space? Even the door handles, got these crystal door handles. Man. Just would have been so nice if it was if had the chairs in here. Can only imagine what it looked like. take you guys to that room over here. The first thing we're gonna see is the staircase. And guys, when I tell you this staircase is steep, this thing, this thing is steep. Like it looks, it looks so tall. <laughs> like it goes way up high. From that room, the dining room, we enter into the foyer, which looks like they left the piano behind, which this actually happens. A lot. Piano's getting left. It's missing a couple of keys. But it's by Schiller, Oregon, Illinois. Cabinet Grand. So this is a Cabinet Grand piano. It's very pretty. It has a nice design to it. I assume this is probably to the basement. No? No, it's just a storage closet. But now we're at the foyer and I want to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys it has a purple front door. So there was a really, it was a really um, colorful family lived here. They really liked all the colors. But check out the rug you see when you first walk into this beautiful home. Nice Turkish rug or it might not be Turkish, but you know, I just know I have a Turkish one. So it looks similar. <laughs> you guys let me know what kind of think this is. Could be Persian or, or whatnot. But when you first walk in, you get this big open space, which I'm sure they had some sort of furniture going along the sides here. Maybe paintings and all that stuff. But check out the chandelier. That's really pretty. And then a little medallion up top. The colors of this house are just flat out gorgeous. So it makes me wonder what was all hung up in here and why did they leave the stuff that they did leave? You know, maybe they wanted to upgrade or, or whatnot, who knows? But this is the grand foyer right here. So we're gonna go to the next room, which this looks to be some sort of, some sort of parlor, I'm not sure. Maybe this was uh, some formal type of living room of some sort. Because there's this nice table here, there's books, there's lots of books too. All this shelving in here, and the ceiling, like I said, it's so high up. Like, this is a big house. I mean, we're in a mansion right now. Look at that, that's so pretty. Such attention to detail, that's why I love southern homes. Southern homes will forever be my favorite kind of architecture. There's just so much detail put into every single house, and like the high ceilings, the, the, the old history, the architecture, it's just, it's amazing, I love it. Southern is definitely my favorite. I think we're gonna be doing a lot more Southern stuff in the next few months. It's gonna be all Southern. So I'm pretty excited to show you what we find. Um, but look at this, all these books left behind. 
makes you wonder what happened why they leave it you know 1876 a lot of just a lot of older books and stuff it's really neat i think they were into medieval stuff too the scarlet letter that's a cool book right there all those books are really cool check out the fireplace looks like it has old windmills on it and chips here's your ceiling fan this place doesn't feel like it was lived in that long ago but it, also with all the paint peel and everything it seems like it's been abandoned for quite some time love the table the hardwood floors throughout the place all right now we're going to move on to we have this room which is the living room of the place the main living room we have the place in the back so we're going to see if we can get back there check that out we have a room to my right right here and then we have upstairs and you guys like i said you don't want to miss upstairs so keep on watching subscribe if you're new share with a friend if you're enjoying this let's keep exploring So I just open this door. And when we walk in, there's some plastic tarp and there's this table here. But this table, if you look very closely, it's got this checker pattern on it. So it's a very nice table. I mean, everything in these southern homes is typically pretty nice. But I really want to show you what's back here. But first, I just looked up. There's a little crystal chandelier there. It's the little things, honestly, guys. It's the little things. Let's go back in this room. Now check it out. First off, the floor. Look, there's an M painted on the floor for the family. And in here, all the wood is painted. So you can see it's like this diamond and checker pattern throughout this room. And we have, you know, a table out here. This is probably where they did a lot of their reading, a lot of some spending time just in peace because you have all the sunlight that would come in through here, especially if all the trees were cleared out in the back. And it looks like they had Christmas lights strung up throughout the place. So I can imagine this room would have been such a good little vibe to be in here. And I love it. I love the colors. It's like all kind of a salmon pink in here. And you have this ledge that goes across the whole thing so you could also sit right here and look outside and all that stuff but we need to be careful on this floor because i just see that there's a hole in the floor right there but what do you guys think of this part so far i mean look at that these are nice wicker chairs the glass table thankfully that's not broken it is halfway scooted off the table but we're going to leave it the way it is but check it out what a beautiful home this is. This room alone definitely has the most stuff left in it so far. But like I said, upstairs is really good. So you guys want to keep watching. Man, I would love to have a room like this in my house. Maybe one day I can build a house or something. Guys, if, you, if you're if you a builder in, in the Oklahoma area, um, hit me up. Don't, like, don't hesitate to hit me up. If you know any foreclosed homes or abandoned homes, in the Oklahoma area, um, I am interested. I am interested, so hit me up, hit me up. But let's keep exploring this house. This is beautiful. I am like so excited to be in here and showing you guys this. We're gonna move on and go back through there and check out the rooms to the right and left and go to the main living room and then go upstairs. So let's go. So we're walking into the first bedroom. And what we see is there's a bed here in the corner, no bed frame or anything, but there's a mattress and a box spring here. And one thing I can say about this room 
is the wallpaper is a bit wild. This yellow wallpaper with the floral and birds and all that stuff. That's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit wild. I don't think I could sleep in a room like that. I mean, I probably could, I sleep really easily, but yeah. Check it out. Imagine having this kind of fireplace in your room. Just beautiful. The drawers. I wonder if there's anything left in here. The Pavilion Park. Looks like they cleared out a lot of this stuff. So it's got this blue strip along the ceiling up here too. Check inside. There's a closet on each side. There's nothing really left in it. There's a bunch of hangers. And the thing is, guys, I don't know why you leave hangers because you can never go wrong with having a lot of hangers. At least for me, you can't. <laughs> and your other closet over here. Nothing really in it again. Like I said, guys, there's going to be some parts downstairs. It doesn't have a whole lot, but this also connects to this room. So I'm kind of wondering what could be back here. It looks like it could be a bathroom. Yes. This is a bathroom, which makes me think this is the master bedroom at that. It stinks really bad in here. Got the hangers in this closet. So yes, guys, we're in the master bathroom right now. We got this wallpaper here and it stinks so bad in here, guys. I think somebody has been using this. Oh my gosh. Check it out. More closet space. This is where all the shoes would have been kept. Right here. Pretty neat. Double vanity here. Well, that's weird. Pulls out like that. Oh my gosh, guys. The tub is big. <laughs> That's a big old jetted tub for this house. So some of it was modernized a little bit because this is jetted. That's really nice. Like this is a big tub guys. Like I'm not even exaggerating. That's a really big tub. And the wallpaper has this gold, like shiny gold all over it. And there was a chandelier in here too. So I wonder what that looked like. So I bet Taking a bath would have been just like, felt so elegant. Shower here, decent sized shower too, at that. Very beautiful for the master bathroom. Yeah guys, this is, this that makes this the master bedroom, which makes sense because you'll see the rooms upstairs. All right, it's time to see the living room, the main living room. And it's got a couple couches and stuff left in it, so I'm excited to show you guys. It's really cool. Um, it makes me wonder what's going on with the place or what's going to happen to it, I don't know. It's literally so overgrown and back in the woods and stuff, so I guess you'll never know what to find out. But let's check out the living room. All right, we're gonna come back through the dining room area. And this is the main living area of the house. And you can see there's like this ladder here, which I wonder what that was for. If they were using it to paint or what, I'm not sure. But there's still two couches in here and the coffee table, which this coffee table is pretty nice. The main living space of this house is all red in here. Doesn't look too bad, no paint peel or anything. But this is the main living room. And this couch actually looks really fancy. It looks like it could be really comfy. And I just seen something out of the corner of my eye that's making me think this place couldn't have been abandoned too terribly long ago because there's a direct TV remote in the air. This is the same direct TV remote my grandparents had when they had it back in the day. And then the TV's left right here. But that's a small TV, but you know, we are in the south. 
we are in a older house so but a lot of this stuff looks newer like it's just kind of weird you know you never know really know how people do things but like these shutters are definitely these blinds are definitely newer so that's the main living room we still got some furniture left in here here's like a direct tv package thing package is starting at 29.99 a month highway robbery right there guys i used to work for direct tv guys if you didn't know i used to work for at&t i was an at&t rep I sold DirecTV and I absolutely did not like it. So if I ever signed you up with DirecTV, I'm so sorry. We're, uh, we're gonna see the rest of this house. We're gonna go upstairs now. because we've seen everything downstairs and I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are ready because there's some cool stuff up there. Like I said guys, this is a steep, steep staircase. Oh my gosh, you get a whole leg workout coming up here. So when you get up here, when you arrive, it is blue, it's baby blue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the secret door. It's right here. So when you pull this, when you pull that shut completely shut, it just looks like a built-in cabinet right here. But then, you open it up and you have this right here, but nothing is in here. This is just, I guess, used for the attic space, but it's pretty cool to say the least. A little secret room, an actual secret room at that. Check it out. <laughs> we have all the railings here. We have a bathroom. I want to show you guys this bathroom because it's really nice. There is a clawfoot tub back here. Love to see them. It's like a like a copper color, I want to say, with the clawfoots on it. Love to see it. It's hot up here, guys. So if I'm breathing hard, I just know it's really hot up here. So yeah, got all the floor wallpaper and stuff. Still in good shape, to say the least, in this room. This bathroom, nice sink. It says hot and cold on it right there. Hot and cold. But there's a lot of poo and this door is very short. You guys can see, I'll show you guys. This is what happens to me a lot. Cause I'm too tall. I'm six foot seven, most of you didn't know. So sometimes these Southern homes have these tiny doors and uh, that's just what I have to deal with. So um, we're gonna go to this kid's bedroom on the right, and then we're gonna go to the left. The left has a really cool setup, so I really wanna show you guys that last. So let's go right over here. Come through this door, and there's two beds here. So, haven't seen the other beds over there in that corner. We have this bed right here. Just a little single bed, twin bed. And it's got the horses on it. That's pretty nice. This is a really, Cool room and they painted it to look like, kind of like clouds in here, probably for comfort for the children and stuff like that. So this had to have been shared between siblings. I want to say because you have this dresser right here, a bed on this side, a bed on this side. And I think it's the same thing for that room. I think all the bedrooms for the kids were all shared. We look at this other bed frame and it has like a lot of, looks like hand painted stuff on it. So maybe the kids painted it themselves. Still has the bed left behind. Love seeing stuff like this. It's just weird this being in the middle here. Wonder what they would have put there. Who knows? Looks There's a nail there, so maybe they hung up a painting or a drawing or something that they did. And this is actually their closet, so it's a little bit smaller. And it's, I mean, it goes back a little bit, but it is a small closet right here for both of the kids. That would have been staying in here. Kevin Costner dances with the wolves. Never seen that movie. Nothing much but rat poop left behind in these drawers. Check out this. The crystal is purple for this. So definitely gives me more of a girl's room vibe. Could be. 
or maybe a girl and a boy stayed in here. I love the cloud that they did that probably for comfort. I really liked that they did that. Huge bedroom though, too. And that's actually the um, fireplace for the kitchen. So that goes all the way up. Now we're gonna go to this really, really cool bedroom right here. First thing I'm gonna show you is the same thing here. It's a closet, opens up like that. But there's three beds in here. And I wanna show you this really cool bed right here. So check this out. The kid would climb up this ladder, sleep up here, okay? And then he would have this area. Looks like there's a little mat in there. So this area would probably be more play area. So it makes it more fun to be in your room and fun, you know, to sleep and stuff like that. So this would have been awesome if I had this as a kid. So, and I've never seen this before in an abandoned house. So it's really cool that this is here. All looks like it was hand painted very, very, very nicely. Um, I feel like maybe the family built in a lot of this stuff because I mean, look at this, the door where they go in, everything. It's, see, it's the missing paint right here. So the family was very crafty and put this together, which is so cool. And then also in this room, there's another bed. It looks like just the box spring right here. And then the wallpaper, it looks like this farm type of wallpaper. And then another bed over here in the corner. So maybe three children stayed in this room or something like that. I'm not too sure about everything, but because I've never seen a house laid out quite like this, but nonetheless, this is a cool place and Guys, that's the final room, so. Glad I got to show you guys this beautiful house. Not quite a time capsule, but still a lot left behind. And some really cool features to say the least. So glad I got to show you this cool place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like, check out Justin, and follow for more. We got some big stuff coming, and I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Big Banks out.